Hey, Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies. Just going to be Auntie Advice. You know, just going to be a little ride along video. You know how Auntie like to ride along. Um, I know a lot of y'all have heard of, about the law. I mean, <clears throat> well, you know, y'all don't hear that women cannot have abortions no more. And a lot of people is feeling some type of way because, you know, when a woman get raped, <clears throat> a lot of them have abortions. It, you know, sometimes they get raped by their they, they fathers and brothers and stuff molest them and they get pregnant. And you know when um, when a father and a brother and a sister make babies, those children, they don't be right. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, stuff like this happening. We may not want to admit it, but things like that do happen in the world. It's sad to think about it, but yes, you got some people will touch their own children, you know? Some men will touch their daughter that they don't give a damn, you know? <laughs> Especially we, we living in the last days. Auntie Babies and Boogie Boogies. Well, my, um, I don't really, I don't like it. I don't like it, but you know, for the women who out there just, I never did believe in abortions anyway. But for the women who out there just screwing everybody and then they get pregnant, they want to have an abortion. <laughs> you know, that's that's a shame because you could have protect yourself. But for women who don't been raped and molested and stuff like that, I think that, you know, <laughs> they should be able to have an abortion because they didn't want to get pregnant, you know. They didn't want nobody to violate them, touch them. And now since that one don't pass, they saying that um they trying to pass the integration. Cause you know, I was in the fifth grade when um my school integrated. So now they want to go back to that. You know, the only thing I can say, Auntie Babies and Boogie Woogies, that you know you got to just um, stay prayed up, watch yourself. The world is changing. It's changing again. It really literally trying to go back into, like, you know, the old, old days. The, when, you know, everybody was, when color was against each other, you know, bad. <laughs> you know, they fought all the time. Black and white people fought all the time, you know. You, but the way Auntie feel about it, I think every woman should be able to have a choice what she want to do in life, good or bad. Why bring a child in the world that you don't want and you know you ain't going to do nothing but mistreat it? And you know, a lot of times they get the kids away to um, for adoption and stuff. But you know, these days, if you know, if a, if if kids find good adoption parents and somebody to love them, they is truly blessed. They truly blessed. That's why I raised my grandson. Cause that's as long as I got breath in me. Cause I don't like. You know, somebody who's some kin to me, and we share the same blood. I mean, I would try to do as much as I can. I wasn't looking to raise no more children. That's why I, I tell people when they try to come on, come on this YouTube street and try to call me old and try to say I need to get my old ass off of YouTube and all this stuff. That's bull crap with auntie, cause baby, I don't raise two generations of children. <laughs> and that's something my mama did not do. Okay? So <laughs> y'all can shut the F up. <laughs> you know, it's never too late in life to do what the H you wanna do. And I believe it's never too late in life to be what you wanna be. I firm believe in I I believe in that. 
I truly believe in that, you know. But this abortion thing, by the woman cannot have a choice to, you know, she she should be able to. But most likely now she will have to carry that baby to full turn. And then she will have to put it up for adoption. So I don't know. I was shocked that that was turned. That that law, you know, I, I was so, I didn't think it was gonna pass, but I, but it did. And a lot of people is protesting, they upset about it. Which they should be, cause it's something to be upset about it. But you know, I just feel like every woman should have a choice. I really do, I should be able to have a choice, you know. But you know, auntie can't have no more babies. <laughs> but when I did, I know a lot of people, I know people who don't have abortions and stuff. Like I say, auntie, I ain't never been the one that believe in abortions, but sometimes you gotta do what you wanna do. I'd rather just have the baby and put it for, up for adoption. But you know, but when women keep having abortions, having abortions just keep laying up and you know you're gonna get pregnant. That's stupid. That's truly stupid. And then you go abort the child. Sometimes you don't know what you be aborting. You could be aborting the president. You could be aborting the lawyer. You could be aborting. You don't know what that child may grow up to be. And that's the way I look at it. You know? That's the way I look at it. That's why I... I always help people with their kids. When I seen a young girl had more than one child and looked like she was struggling, it was no, I mean, if she asked me to help her or watch the kids or do this for the kids, I, I never mind doing it. I always been the mother of the neighborhood, even when I was young. People know me when I was a young woman. I always was the mother of the neighborhood. Everybody, children was at my damn house. <laughs> yeah, everybody children, ever since I was a young woman, and I used to get on my kids, I'd say, won't y'all go to their damn houses? They mama run all of us out to my, come to our house. <laughs> yeah, they try to keep their house all nice and clean, and then they want to send the damn children over there to my house. Well, until you start that is I got here. No, my house gonna stay nice and clean too. And I tell my children, y'all can come in, but your friends can't. Mm -hmm. But you know, I just, I, I just feel like everybody should have a choice in life, and you know. But I don't know what they're gonna do now. Auntie really just don't know what they're gonna do now. You know, it's a sad choice. It was. It's sad, but you know, they just got to take precautions. They got to protect themselves. But they say no more abortion, but you know, abortion is going to always be here. Because you know, they always have the black marketing. Just like the people get the black marketing booty job, they got the black marketing abortion. People might be getting sick and some people may die. But that's all this is doing is making the black market rich. Because it's, it's women know how to do that. They know how to give abortions. Mm -hmm. And that's still happening going on to this day. So the only thing they do now, they just don't go to a clinic. They just going to have to get it done underground. And that's true. But, you know, this is auntie advice for this... Uh, we, I feel like a woman should have a choice. But you know, it's a sad situation and the world is changing so much, you guys. So y'all be safe out there and, and stay prayed up. No matter what you're doing, what we do, what we say, God love us all. God love us all. Yes, he do. But anyway, this is my advice. I think that a woman should have a choice. And I believe in her having a choice. I really do. 
And y'all like and subscribe to Loretta Brown YouTube channel. And don't get nothing on you. And y'all enjoy your day. Bye. Love you guys. Shit.